What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Oh, wow, we have not gotten to her in a long time. We're coming back to Billie Eilish. Yes, indeed. Billie Eilish fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from, there, there's a few names here, uh, this comes as a, as a request from Sam Thomas, Valerie Herview, I hope I pronounced that right, looks like it's French, uh, Mitch T, Lids, Horse Hollerer, June Lucas, Michaela Hornjak, uh, Julian, and Christopher Burak Jr. They all want to see me react to this song by Billie Eilish called Happier Than Ever. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on a second, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Billie Eilish, okay? And the video has 1.8 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Billie Eilish, happier than ever. Live from The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon, 2021. Oh boy, okay. Uh, this is not what I'm worried about. I I'm really not worried about Billie Eilish. I don't think she's ever blocked me. She's claimed, and, and that's fine. I, I have no problem with artists claiming their music. That means they get the ad revenue, and I'm fine with that. I have no issue with that whatsoever. This could be a problem. The Tonight Show. Uh, NBC owns The Tonight Show. And NBC has been known in the past to be very protective of their intellectual property. So I don't know how this is going to go. Um, we'll just wait and see what happens, I guess, and hope for the best. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I could explain it better I wish it wasn't true Give me a day or two To think of something clever To write myself a letter To tell me what to do Skip my avenue when you said you were passing through. Was I even on your way? I knew when I asked you to be cool about what I was telling you, you'd do the opposite of what. 
what you said you do And I'd end up more afraid Don't say it isn't fair You clearly weren't aware that you I believe the vocals are live. I, I, I believe Billy's vocals are live, and I believe that's Phineas. I believe his vocals are live. But I'm hearing other vocals besides those two. I'm hearing, like, I, I'm at, at that last point, pro, well, prior to this last point on the entrance, I heard four voices. Now, I haven't seen the whole stage, so there's a possibility there are backing vocalists that we just haven't seen yet that have been off camera. Or they're playing, or they're having uh, tracks used for backing vocals. It'd be tricky to do backing vocals on track with a song like this because they're playing around with tempo a lot. They're doing a lot of decelerandoing, a lot of decelerandos. Um, and you gotta time those out if you're playing with track. You gotta time those out exactly because you gotta be ready to sing with those tracks. Uh, it's not impossible. It's not impossible, but it's going to be tough to program them correctly and to know where to come in. Uh, I'm sure there's. I'm sure they they have in ears in, so I'm sure they have a click going, so they can hear that. Um, they might even have like countdowns. So they, you could do that. You could have the countdown: four, three, two, one, bam. There you, and then you have your entrance. Um, it's very, very possible. I don't think this is a lip sync job. I don't think so. This sound, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing too much background noise. I'm hearing too many, too many people breathing. Um, I'm hearing shuffling of feet. I'm hearing movement. I'm hearing fabric uh, rubbing against itself with being picked up by the mics. Billie Eilish is known for working with very hot mics because she likes, especially in a live setting, she likes to pick up those ambient sounds. She likes it. Most bands don't. <laughs> she does. She. I think I was reading in the comments. She likes doing it because it creates an atmosphere of intimacy, and I. I can see that. I can absolutely see that. So now I do believe she's singing live. I do believe he's singing live. I do believe he's playing live. I do believe the drummer is playing live. But I'm not sure about those backing vocals. I don't know if they're track or if they're backing vocals that we just haven't seen yet. They've been off camera. I'm hoping that camera pans around and shows us the other side of the stage. If I see backing vocals there, well then there, there's my question answered, you know? But uh, yeah, so far so good. So far so good. Uh, it's got that real kind of laid back, like 40s feel music, like, uh, trying to think of, uh, I don't know. I don't know about Skeeter Davis. I don't know if I would go that. Uh, maybe a little bit softer than Skeeter, though. But like having kind of the approach, or maybe like Ella, possibly. I don't know. It, those, those are two names that come to mind. Skeeter Davis in particular, but softer, softer, breathier, wispier, on purpose. That's the effect that. You guys have told me this several times. She intentionally sings like that. It, it works for her. It absolutely does. It's kind of like her. It's kind of like her calling card. It's kind of like her trademark. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. So if you really And the camera over. I'm happier than ever. Wish I could explain it better. I wish it wasn't true. Drunk in your bed 
friends oh driving home under the influence hey now. you scared me to death but i'm wasting my breath because you only listen to your fucking eyes. Okay, look. <laughs> that shocked the hell out of me. Uh, okay, first of all, I felt a shift. And the shift I felt was primarily in her vocals. Suddenly, the breathiness disappeared. The wispiness disappeared. And all of a sudden, we had this strong, projected vocal. Still, dynamically, down around the mezzo piano mark, but projected, supported, powerful, but not loud. Just being there with the power. You can be powerful. You can have a strong vocal and not be loud. Everything just become very bright in her voice. And I was like, okay, let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. And boy, did we see where it went. Holy cow. Where did that power come from? I think that might be the strongest I've ever heard her. Ever. Ever. Uh, that was borderline rock vocals. Borderline. Uh, wow. Uh, that... <laughs> Kind of, kind of at a loss for words when it comes to that part. Uh, that was intense. I dug it. I dug everything about that part. Uh, that felt really good. Sounded really good. Forget really good. Let's just say it. Just go out and say it. It sounded great. It did. I was, that was impressive. Did not see it coming. What a great setup. What a great setup. And now, she brought it down again. Not to where she started, but where she suddenly got strong. You know what I mean? Mezzo piano. We, we, we did do crescendo. We, we did. But the power is still there. It's underlying. It, I feel like we're going to erupt again. I do. I, I feel like that's coming. Uh, I'm digging this. I think this might be the most I've been into a Billie Eilish song ever. Ever. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> I seriously, I'm, I'm digging this. I am absolutely digging this. Uh, let's see where this goes. Man, that I loved that part. I really did. See, the power's still there. It's not breathy. Mic awareness. Look at that.
Wow, she lost her pack. Whoops. Oh man, her pack hit the ground. Hope it's okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Um, ah, oh, wow. I, it's, I, I'm at a loss for words, in all honesty. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I, I, I seriously don't know what to say. I gotta figure something out. I can't just have dead air right now. Uh, okay, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Billie Eilish with Happier Than Ever. This was a request from Sam Thomas, Valerie Herview, hope I pronounced that right, uh, Mitch T, Lids, Horse Hollerer, June Lucas, Michaela Hornjack, uh, Julian, and Christopher Burak Jr. You know, it's funny. It's funny. Doing this channel for the last three years. Has it been three years? Oh my gosh, yes it has. <laughs> no, it's been four, hasn't it? Coming up on four anyway. It, 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 doing this channel for as long as I have, I've, off, I've, I've been asked this question a lot when I give scores. And I'll give like, you know, a mid eight or a high eight. And people will make the comment of, how can you not give this a 10? How can you not give this a 10? This deserves a 10. You clearly don't know anything about music. This deserves a 10. If this doesn't get a 10, I shudder to think what could ever get a 10. Well, there's a reason for that. There's a reason I don't give 10s. Number one, I don't believe in perfection. When it comes to art, I, I think art can always be improved upon, especially music. I, I believe songs can always be improved upon. I think musicians can always improve their craft, uh, whether it be from the performing standpoint or from the songwriting standpoint. I believe there's always some room for improvement. Okay. But as far as my scoring goes, you know, why didn't you give this like a 9.9? .9? There's a reason that I don't, I, I, especially when I start out, it's very hard to get up into the nines when you're starting on the channel. It doesn't happen often. It, I, I think there's only been like, I think there's only, honestly, I, I think there's been less than 10 artists who have come on the channel for the very first time and have gotten into the nines with their very first video. I, I, I don't, there, there aren't many, okay? <sighs> I like to start off with a good baseline and, and, and be able to move from there and have room to move. So if I start off, for example, if I were to start off at a 9.5 or a 9.6, right? And that's but that's the very first thing. And then something comes along that's even better. Okay, 9.6. Then something comes along that's even better than that, 9.7. Something comes along that's even better than that, 9.8. I'm running out of room. Something comes along that's even better than that. Okay, 9.9. .9. And then something comes along that's even better than that. Now where do I go? Can't give a 10, because I don't give 10s. Not for the art. So what do I do? I like to give some cushion, some breathing room. That way, when something comes along that is truly exceptional from that artist, I have room to move. I have room to go. I have room to spare so that I can get up into that area comfortably without stressing, without worrying about it. I know I've had a lot of people criticize me for not giving Billie Eilish a nine point anything. The highest I think I've ever given her is an 8.8. .8. I think that's the highest I've given her. And if people have criticized me for that, why don't you give this a nine? Why don't you give this a nine? Because I didn't feel those deserved nines. I don't think they did. I don't think she's done anything, honestly, that deserved a nine. 
on the channel until today. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 9.1. Yep, 9.1. You heard me. I didn't stutter. That is the score that I felt this song deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? Yeah, we finally got a Billie Eilish song up in the nines. And very well deserved. My goodness. Um, Song started out as your typical Billie Eilish tune with the breathy voice the wispy voice, supported, not weak, but supported, but breathy and wispy. Her trademark style of singing. And that's what everybody in the comments have told me. That's how she sings. She sings like that on purpose. It's her calling card. I get it. I absolutely get it. And it works for her. She makes it work in a way that is very conducive to her style. Not just of songwriting, but of performing as well. So I got no issue with it. I think it's fine. It, it was sounding really good. You know, it had that kind of laid back, like 40s feel. I, I kind of use, I, I use the uh, comparison to like Skeeter Davis or maybe even Ella Fitzgerald. And it, I, I think both of those are very fitting from that era. Don't look at Ella, Ella Fitzgerald from like the 70s. I'm not talking about that Ella Fitzgerald. I'm talking Ella Fitzgerald when she was younger in her, you know, in, in the 1940s. That's, that, that era of Ella Fitzgerald. Skeeter Davis, another great example of comparison. Uh, that style of music. Um, and I, I was coasting along with it, man. I, I was feeling good. And then her vocal style changed and it got stronger. Not so much from, like I said, the support was always there, but the wispiness and the breathiness disappeared. And all of a sudden, here were these projected strong vocals. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is this going? This is different. I like this. I like this a lot. And I was really getting into it. And then I started to feel the instrumentation build. And I heard the addition of other voicings. I heard the bass come in. The acoustic guitar changed to an electric guitar. Uh, the drumming got stronger and I was like, wait a minute, we're building, we're building, where are we going with this? And then, I kid you not, straight ahead, like, let, let's call a spade a spade. It was a rock feel. It, not a hard rock feel, not a metal feel, but a rock feel in all the instrumentation. And then her vocals took off. Wow. I have never, ever heard her sing like that before man i wish she would sing like that more often i really do she does it really well it'd be interesting to see her sing in a rock band oh man singing the way that she did there yes 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 yes, yes. yes a thousand times yes 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 jesus h I could absolutely see her singing in a rock band with vocals like that. And I think she would pull it off. I think she would sound great doing it. Um, that was impressive for a number of reasons. Number one, the buildup. And that's happening within everybody, not just her vocals, but in all the voicings, the drums, the bass, the guitars, uh, everything building and building and building. What a great buildup. Smooth, pleasing to the ear, not jarring, not sudden not abrupt it was really nicely done um switching up on the te not the tempo not the tempo on the feel feel but adding a building up and building up from that halftime feel to the straight time feel to a hard rock straight ahead feel really nice across the board um her vocal delivery i still can't get over it i still I want to go back and listen to that whole section again. I really do. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to. When I'm done, I only have one more video to film after this, and then I'm, I'm going to go back and listen to it. It was that good. I, I, I want to listen to that again. Uh, that section was absolutely up my alley. I wonder how she would do with a whole song that was had that type of feel. I, I'll bet she would be fine. I'll bet you she would. 
Uh, and then here's the best part. She built up and built up and she's got this thing raging, man. It's, it feels so good. And then out of nowhere, shoom, we come down again. But here's the thing. We didn't go back to the breathy vocal. We didn't go back to the wispy vocal. We went back down to that mezzo piano vocal, but with, that was clear and strong. Always supported. She was all, even with the wispiness and the breathiness, that support, she, she was supported there, but even more so here. And I thought that was smart because then it built up again and it built up again and it built up again. Um, that was nice. Very well executed. I, 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 I could not have wished for it to be done better. Um, that was really nicely done. So yeah, we got up into the nines with Billie Eilish. How about that? Very well deserved, honestly. Um, and this is something that Billie Eilish fans, I'm sure, have heard of reactors use a, 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 a million times. I'm sure they've heard dozens of reactors say the exact same thing I'm about to say. But I want you to look back on all of the other reactions I've done to Billie Eilish. How many times have I said the following statement? This is my new favorite song from Billie Eilish. When it comes to Billie Eilish songs, this this song right here, Happier Than Ever, yeah, it's, it's my new favorite without question. Um, I've never said that about a Billie Eilish song as far as I know. Uh, no, this absolutely deserves to be in my favorite category. Yeah, absolutely. I love that build up. I cannot get over it. And her vocal delivery. Holy smokes. Uh, man, I wish she would sing like that more often. So hopefully to all the Billie Eilish fans that have been on this channel for a long time, now you understand why I don't give nines to everything that Billie Eilish does. There is a scale. There are certain songs that I think are better than others. And if I put every single song into the nines, well, that means there's only nine grades I can get, or 10 grades. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's only 10 grades I can give. How many reactions have I done to Billie Eilish? Like 14, 15, 16? So I, I, and they can't all be nines. They just can't. There's gonna be nines, and there's gonna be eights. There's gonna be sevens. There might even be sixes and fives. As long as you're above a five, as long as you're at a 5.0 or higher, you're okay. You're in the positives. It's when you get under five. It's when you get down to the fours and the threes and the twos and the ones. That's when you start getting the bad scores. As long as you're above a five, your scores are okay or better. All right? So this, this was exceptional. And I feel very good giving that 9.1 to this song. I feel good about that score and that is where we're gonna stay. So, 9.1, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.